Hey, what's up? This is Seb de la Web with a quick tutorial on how to create um, something I really like is adding a stroke to a banner uh, or a photo. Um, it just gives that nice effect instead of just a plain square or a portrait or a landscape photo. And just by adding a little stroke behind it, it's, um, I just like it and I thought about sharing it with you guys. It's not a, it's no rocket science, but um, yeah, the, the, the thing is you now can, uh, with the new update of Flatsome 3.11, it's you're able to add a, a stroke, a border to a column. And uh, let me show you how to do this quickly. So this is a website of a, of a client of mine and I created this and I thought, uh, okay, this looks nice. Let's make a video about it. So here we have our Flatsome setup. Just the basic installation as always. And um, now we're gonna open up the UX Builder. There's not much design at the moment. We're gonna delete the text element. Um, we're just gonna in add a column, two columns in this case. You can also work with one column that maybe is also nice, but I just wanna replicate what I already created. Okay, so now we're gonna add a banner. Sometimes you just can add an image element, but for now we're just gonna add the, uh, here we go the banner elements. And what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go to our column. So let me go back. And as you can see here, you have the row with the column and inside there's the banner. Open up the column settings. And when you scroll a little bit down, here you find the border. And uh, first of all, you need to decide how thick you want to make your border. I would say something around 30 pixels. Here we go. Then uh, we need to say it's a solid one, solid. And then we need to add a color. Um, so here we are. The thing is you don't see it because we need to apply a negative margin. And that's where this uh, margin comes into place. Um, now I can just make a negative margin. Let's say we take that about minus 20. And now what we're gonna do, and I need, I think it was, yeah, we're gonna get a negative margin on top as well and a negative margin on the bottom. So here we go, as you can see, it looks nice already. Maybe we need to um, make it a little bit less negative on the left. So let's make this a little bit less at 15. And there you are, it looks quite nice. And uh, what really works is if you combine this color or match this color with uh, one of your um, uh, colors that's inside of the photo. If I would make it this specific green, it would really look nice. So play around with that. Um, sh you need to also check if it works on mobile a little bit. I think it's nice. It, it does touches the edges of your uh, grid, but um, I think it's, uh, it's still looking good. Um, one other thing is that you can also give the effect of, uh, let's go into the column settings again. And what you can do, I'm not sure why they have added it, but there is a hover effect uh, on the border settings. So what you can do is you can say slide in, and that's nice. So when you go on top of it, it slides in, and there's some other stuff. Uh, you have also the bounce, and the bounce just give that little extra effect when you go over it. It's nice, it's just a way of playing around with a little bit of animation. So here we are, we have the uh, banner with a column and we added the uh, border uh, specific, or how do you say, I added the border with some settings and then you get this. Okay, um, let me know what you think in the comments, subscribe on YouTube, follow me on Instagram.com slash Well, that's my username. Um, yeah, see you in the next video, bye bye.